All right, so this video, uh, what we're going to be talking about is, uh, given a table, we need to find the equation of the line. This is a linear equation. I've already gone, gone and told you that, but um, sometimes you won't actually know what kind of equation it is, but by looking at the table and knowing what kind of slope we have or rate of change we have, um, we can uh, determine what the slope is. So remember, slope, I know usually people say rise over run. I don't necessarily like that. Uh, but the slope, I like to call it the change of y over the change of x. Okay, the change of y meaning, does it go up or down? Okay, and the change of x meaning, does it go left or right? So you determine if it goes up, down, left, or right, and that is what the slope is, the change of y over the change of x. And for a table, it makes the most sense because here's what we're going to do. To go from 8 to 0... That's the change of y, right? From 8 on the y-axis to 0 on the y-axis, you subtract 8. Okay, so the change of y is eight, negative 8 over, all right, and then you have from negative 2 to 0. And from that, you actually add 2, because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay, and negative 8 over 2 can reduce to negative 4. All right, we're going to see if it has the same slope between each change or between each point. Okay, so let's do it from 0 to the negative 4. We subtract 4 to get there. Okay, so the change of y this time is negative 4. And then from 0 to 1, we add 1. So it would be positive 1. Negative 4 over 1 does equal negative 4. Okay, so it's the same slope. But just to make sure, let's try one more here. Okay, from negative 4 to negative 12, we subtract 8. From 1 to 3, we add 2. So that will still give me the same slope, negative 4. From negative 12 to negative 20 is subtracting 8. From 3 to 5, you add 2. So that's still the same slope. So I'm very confident our slope is negative 4. Okay, now... And when we write the equation of a line, of course, we know the most typical thing that we remember from our algebra days is the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. We know that we just found the slope at m, which is negative 4. We now need to find b, which is the y-intercept. Okay? Now, there's two different ways to do it. Uh, and this problem, it actually makes it quite simple because we look for a 0 on the x-axis, meaning it has no excuse me, has no x value, which will tell me what the y-axis is. So the y-intercept, uh, excuse me, is 0. So that's what b is. b is my y-intercept, and my y-intercept is 0. Because the, if 0 is x, it points to what the y-intercept is. So in this problem, my equation would be y equals negative 4x plus 0. But we don't have to write the plus here if we don't want to, but... That's how that works. Okay? So that's how we find the slope and the y-intercept given a table. Here's one more question we can go over together. Right here in the middle. We'll do the middle one because it has some big numbers here, and I know students get all freaked out and stuff. All right, here we go. From negative 46 to negative 19. Wow. We've definitely added here, and I think we added, if I'm not mistaken, 33. Let's see, 46, 36, 26. Okay, 26, and then, oh, it's actually only 27. So we added 27. Okay, and then from negative 5 to negative 2, we added 3. Because negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Okay, so my slope is from between my first points, remember it's change of y over to the change of x. I have 27 over 3, which is 9. Okay, let's see if it works for the change of the next points here. So from negative 19 to 8, so that's actually also going to be plus 27. And then from negative 2 to 1 is plus 3. And again, you can use your calculator to verify this. 27 over 3, perfect. Okay, from 8 to 26 is actually only 18. So we add 18 there. From 1 to 3 is plus 2. And if we do 18 over 2, that also equals 9. Okay? So it's the same slope. Let's just check one more time. 26 to 35 is plus 9. 3 to 4 is plus 1. So 9 over 1 also equals 9. 
So I know that my slope is 9. Okay? <clears throat> so it's going to be 9x plus b. And we don't know what b is because do I see a 0 on the x column or as an x value? No. So here's how we find it. We, gosh, if we just knew what y was and what x was, we can plug that in to find b. Well, here's the cool part. We have five points to choose from. And I'm going to choose the easiest one, 1, 8. So I'm going to plug 1 in for x and 8 in for y to find out what b is. Okay, so let's do that. 8 is b, 8 is y, excuse me. 8 equals 9 times 1 plus b. Okay, so 9 times 1 is 9. Subtract 9. And 8 minus 9 equals negative 1. So negative 1 equals b. So in my final equation here, I'd write 9x minus 1. And that's how I find the equation. So given the table, we find the change of y over the change of x. And then, again, reduce the fraction and make sure it's the same between all the different points. So that's how you find the equation of a line.